Live from a corner of Austin, the sky is overcast. There is a pulsing red glow to the north. It must be election day. And it's going to be a great day, uh, night, day. It's going to be great. Now, get ready to get a piece of that biscuit. Because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young. Oh, buddy, get over here. Get over here. I know, I know. It's bad, it's bad form. It's bad form to start this way, but here we are, a scant five hours into election day yeah. here in America. Yep. On behalf of me and Justin, you're welcome. Indeed. We've done it for you. Yeah. When we say, you know, uh, everybody's been whining and complaining. Yeah. Releasing uh, pop punk <laughs> albums from California, <laughs> encouraging people to get out the vote. Exactly. We did it. We fu- we put an end to it. Those lines are huge. Yep. You're welcome. Exactly. We put an end to short lines. Uh, well, we certainly have the moral high ground of like, uh, oh yeah, democracy where everybody shows up. How's that? How you enjoy? It? Is it fun? Yeah. Is it fun? Yeah. You uh, how are you enjoying it right now? I bet you you're listening in line right now. Oh. Uh, how, how, how do you think your decisions are going right now, voter? Yeah. Uh, okay. you know what I like to do what, for what, these lines? Oh, uh, uh, just to get just to get them longer. Why did we not get in the same line and just do like yeah. late night live? Is that illegal? Yep, it would have been very illegal to do. It. <laughs> but it have been really? illegal. You yep. can't record. record in the line. Oh no no no! I'm not saying record it. Oh, just, just bullshit. Live. Gotcha. Yeah yeah. yeah. We We're should doing have done parodies. That. We're setting up runners. So what I like to do is uh, when I go to these lines and they're long lines, I like to get up on a platform, like mm. a fairly high platform. Uh, and then I'll just take barrels and I'll throw them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just keep throwing these barrels until an Italian hits me with a hammer. <laughs> I was about to say, isn't that a selection bias specifically for Italians? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. You want to well, get out know, the vote of that's the, the only one. The 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 correct citizen. I like to stand by a burning barrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So every once in a while I light a barrel on fire. I like to cross dress in a dress and just kind of be coquettish just and be saying, all like, yeah. Woo, look at you, Justin. Yeah, Whoa. exactly. I wonder if it what, what, what will happen? Hey, we have stools. Yeah. Do we want to sit down? I think this is a daytime thing. We only yeah. do this during the day. I gave you, know? you stools because I didn't know if we wanted to sit down, and then I forgot to ask if you wanted to sit down. No, uh, we, I think this is good. No, I, 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 this it is feels why like, we it feels like great night unplugged. Team. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. This, this, when joke, we were, this yeah. joke is by David Bowie. Yeah. I was jerking off the other day. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I, I, I forgot I had done it. And I remembered that I did the next day because my dick had glitter. Uh, so I, uh, I heard you. I heard you talking about uh, gooning, being a gooner. <laughs> oh my fuck! <laughs> That's how we're starting. Oh yeah. We're oh yeah. Starting no, no, no. with gooning. Oh yeah. No. Ju- <laughs> ju- <laughs> Straight gooning. Oh, J- Justin's got yeah. his coffee. Hi yeah. everybody. Welcome to election day coverage. We're mm-hmm. talking about gooning. I'm Brian. Yeah. I'm Justin. And this is goon. Goon uh, poon. No, no, no. We need to. We need to do the yeah the, the morning the morning show intro. Uh, uh, hi, welcome back. It's called gooning, and your kids might be into it. Isn't that right, Brian? Oh my goodness! I heard my teenager talking about gooning, mm-hmm. and I I, I want to try it myself. Well, you know, it, it takes a lot of time and dedication. That's another thing we have to do is never quite sip our coffee. Yeah, <laughs> just, just always be it. about to. All right, <clears throat> where were you when you heard about? Goontown. <laughs> uh, I first heard about gooning uh, uh, on the internet on Twitter.com when a uh, account that I quite enjoy uh, did a long thread about how Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, is almost certainly a gooner. And and where did that lead you from there? Because that's quite a mystery. Yeah. So uh, it led me to Urban Dictionary <laughs> to uh, 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 ascertain the definition of the term gooner. I'll, I'll tell you what, it sounds like our producer Bryce Castillo knows uh, uh, possibly a lot about gooning uh, because he laughed really hard, yeah. awkwardly hard yeah. the moment yeah. we brought it up. Tellingly uh, hard. <laughs> hey, uh, Brett, okay. Brett, uh, uh, what do you know about gooning? What do you know about gooning, Brett? Being an old, uh, I know nothing. <laughs> 
I really don't know. <laughs> you don't know. All right, Hold if, you were, if, no, if, if, uh, you, if you were to guess yeah, what no, no. gooning is. Hey, by, by the way, by the way. What would you guess? I, and when you guess, I want you to assume that you're going to have tattooed on your chest. Gooning. Straight colon, gooning. And then, and then uh, verb. And then what is the definition after it that is tattooed on your chest forever? Sure. Yeah. Well, just off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. If you were asking me if I was gooning, that would be to goon, which would be, I would be some sort of henchman. For oh, that. that's, oh, that's how I would. Oh, I would. attracts, attracts, oh, oh. sensible. No, it means jerking off all day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Bryce, could you, could you read the teenager. urban dictionary uh, definition of, of, of gooning? Again, this is urban dictionary. That's why com. we're a news all network. Sorts of crazy. Is, we, we, Check our facts. We actually are going to be a news network today. We're doing a morning show right now, and then we're doing live political well, coverage all night. Like, I'm practicing for just how serious yeah. we're taking this. You know? Yeah. 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 Hey, Bryce, do we have that? Do we have that pulled up? UrbanDictionary.com for gooning. Yeah. We do. The, the, the UrbanDictionary.com definition for gooning, I'm going to read this verbatim. Gooning may be most simply defined as that state usually achieved after a prolonged edging session when a man becomes completely hypnotized by the feeling radiating his penis. Wow. Mm. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. Bit early for a party foul, isn't it? Brian uh, lost his gooning. Yeah, no, I yeah. lost I, the goon. I, I, Brian I made lost his edge. He spilled his load. That's <laughs> What I, I I had been on the edge oh, nice. for quite a while. <laughs> Every, everyone has nice, gotten uh, run to Puerto get paper Rico towels here. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, what happened was this. Uh, <laughs> apparently, there's like a twisty thing that implies that it's going to cause this mic to be in the right direction. Oh yeah, that it doesn't was... actually do anything. And then it we'll doesn't. It. Yeah, we need to so. replace. Uh, that. So anyway, I was on ICS when I was mm. out in Vegas, and uh, yeah, uh, for I don't know how gooning came up, but uh, it was literally the first thing you said. Did I just come in? <laughs> I just came in hot with like, hey, so what's up with so gooning? Me, yeah. who was listening to it. <laughs> Hey, what's up with goon in these days? Yeah. I do think it's a very funny phrase. Like, and 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 saying straight goonin is also very very funny. Yes. Uh, as opposed to edge. Uh, now, uh, I haven't listened to the full episode yet, but it sounded like. Uh, uh, see, I, I don't. I don't think that it's necessarily the same as edging. Certainly, edging is is involved. I, I yeah. think that you're probably busting a lot of nuts. I mean, it sounds like, to me like, like you're, maybe your your wife oh, and kids are out of the actually, house for one goddamn edging. weekend. No, no, no. That's why I'm saying it's not edging. Oh. That's why I'm saying that like edging's a part of it. But if you're going all day, sure, you're edging a little bit. But but I, I don't think that it necessarily precludes. It's it's uh, it's popping off like a fireworks display. My understanding of gooning is that yeah, Bryce. What's your understanding of gooning? Yeah. Welcome to Bryce. Do you have a corner. deep personal Brought understanding of gooning? <laughs> Clorox wipes make uh make the most messy stains go away. He does make cum tweets, so I'm sure he's educated in I this. Th I think it's more of a state of mind than really? an action. I think oh, okay. It's, so it's, it's more of just like, like like you're pledging allegiance to watching pornography all day. Yeah, more I mean in a very in so many words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're just really into it. Uh, yeah. So much so that you'd react by laughter if somebody even oh brought it God. up because. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I laughed because. Uh, you know what? Uh, in uh, I, I propose on this election day the yes. Defense of Gooning Act. In yes. Which yes. Just, yes. So brave. Uh, so brave. In which. Uh, Open uh, goon carry. Brian. <laughs> uh, uh, in which Brian admits that, man, I've been straight gooning once or twice. Like, sure. Uh, just everyone's out of the house and you're certain ain't nobody coming around. And so, so yeah, somebody's got to come. <laughs> if, if nobody's going to come over, somebody's got to come. Yep, Brian's doing it. Brian's just admitting to gooning. A, 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 a gooner admission. Just jerking off all day, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. Sure. Okay. okay. Hi, kids. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I probably just wasn't going to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> this is mean... a morning show, Bryce. You know, we have to share more of ourselves <laughs> in a morning show format yeah. so everybody can kind you of get comfortable. You have to get that out before Truffle Pete shows up and explains exactly. us how to bake. Yeah, because at some point, yeah, someone's going to make a souffle or there's going to be a, an iguana that'll take a shit on our heads. Like, this is, sure. a, this is a morning show. Yeah. Can I, can I just like, add one thing? Uh, yes, of Hey, course. all of those people that I begged to come watch this show. Yeah. Hey, welcome. They're all hey, watching it welcome. now. Hey, yeah. hey, hey my welcome. Members, hey, and, uh, my cousins. Hi. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, this is what I do. This, this is, is uh... what I do. Hey, Bryce, what's our first topic? Our first topic. 
Moon Knight. Moon Knight. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, 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 first of all, a eh, bit of a bummer for me. About a week ago, I figure <laughs> out that the next lunar eclipse is going to happen on the day of the election. And I say to Justin casually, huh, you know, there's going to be a total eclipse of the moon. It's going to be a blood moon blood on moon. the morning of the uh, uh, election. The blood moon uh, and I think a lot of people again. are going to talk about this. And Justin says, oh, how interesting. And then the next day I tweet out, hey, you know, when you hear people talk about this, just know I told you first. What? <laughs> first response. Justin already told me. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 And you want to know how much uh, 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 regret I have for yeah. taking your information uh, and immediately me, tweeting it out? About the amount of light coming from the eclipse moon. Zero. <laughs> yeah. You have done that to me so many times. Look, uh, uh, well, uh, as we were just talking about in the pre-show, we're the same person, <laughs> just out of phase. Exactly. <laughs> uh, in, in this case, I knew there was going to be a total eclipse of the moon, and I had talked to Josie about it, and she's like, we should totally watch that. I'm like, I agree. And then she hits me up with the harsh reality that, uh, oh, wait, that's 5 a.m. Yeah. That, that is going to happen. Uh, and so it's like, are you still in? And I'm like, nope, nope. And then we got to last night, and Josie was like, well, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could get up. I'd like to see a, an eclipsed moon. And I'm like, yeah, me too. Yeah. So even though it'll I, look like red. It'll look red and weird. Yeah, right. Yeah. And so uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, we both set our alarms for uh, uh, 4.50 a.m. Central Time. And this yep. is right at that witching hour where normally I don't like to be awake because I'm afraid I'll be awake for the rest of the day. Uh, but I get up, and then she texts me quietly. Are you up, Dad? Yeah, I'm up. Okay, let's go. Uh, we walk downstairs, and then we walk out the front door. Um, Josie, to her credit, does not mention the fact that I'm definitely just in boxers. Gotcha. <laughs> out in the middle of the street. Just, that's, a, that's some real dad <laughs> shit. I, yeah. that, that is, a, that is a, like when you realize that you are the dictator of your own house and you can just walk around in whatever outfit you want to know. I mean, can say to be shit. honest, I think there was a little bit of respect happening. <laughs> like yeah. She was oh, kind no. of like, like psyched to see how dad would interact with people just wearing boxers. Wearing boxers. Do you think she was excited about that? Uh I think she was fascinated. That her dad's a boss. Intrigued. Yeah, that he's yeah. Like, like, no, you all have to deal with me in boxers. Get some. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we walk out, and it's a bit foggy, like yep. fog on the floor. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, well, where's the moon? And then we look up, and it's like, well, it's foggy, but it's not so foggy. I mean, I could see stars through the fog. And it's like, where is the fucking moon? And we walk to one yeah. side, and we walk to the other side, and then we walk to the backyard, mm -hmm. and we realize that we are in the agonizing position of the fog is light enough that we can see stars, but the moon is dark enough that, that we you can't, can't see, see the fucking oh, eclipse. Oh, my God. At which point we're like, well, fuck it. Good night. <laughs> Good hey. night. Hey. We, we sneak past the dogs and went to bed. I saw the moon when I was going to uh, the gym this morning, which was about like 530, uh, 545, and uh, it just looked glitchy. It just looked like like somebody in the simulation fucked up the moon, <laughs> or and, it's, it's an it artifact just, in a corner of a dolly. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it something. was just like 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 the corner of it, like it, it was white, so it wasn't like there wasn't any red discoloration of it, but like a quarter of the moon had just been kind of taken out. And and, and there is something to it, just being the wrong side, like we're accustomed to uh, here in North America, like uh, you know, uh, waxing waning. It starts in the right, goes to the left, or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, that's the wrong side, moon. Wrong, wrong. You're doing it wrong, moon. Yeah, I'm trying to make an anal sex joke. Um, nope. You want to try it? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, sex? Uh, I know I'm a moon. Yep. But that's not how you do it. In the butt. No, yeah. <laughs> if you have to explain it, it's not. Oh, yeah. Right. No. Well, we got there, though. That's Brett, what matters. Did, did you look at the moon? Did you look at the moon, Brett? Uh, I did last night, uh, but I, I was out of phase. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Stop everything. Yeah. <laughs> what was the intended joke that you were full? He laughing? just wanted, oh, yeah. by the way, the look that Brett has right now as he realizes and, what's about yeah. to happen. Let's talk about what was we're breaking this down the over the moon anal joke. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, I, yeah. Just, I don't know. There's just so much. There's Brett, so do you have any, any anal sex jokes about the moon? Hi, Brett's family. <laughs> Well, I'm not a gooner, but I can say right I'm now, a mooner. <laughs> but a mooner, yes. 
Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, I guess we saw the moon eclipse, but we couldn't see the moon eclipse. It sounds like you didn't see the moon eclipse. I mean, we definitely looked at the spot where the moon was eclipsing, <laughs> but didn't see any light, which I guess is the point That's of the an point. eclipse. Yeah. 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 Oh, well. Next time. When is next time? Uh, four years from now. Four more years without a red moon. <laughs> right. Four more years. No, uh, actually, it's a... Uh, there, there's no lunar eclipses until 20, yeah, 2024. So two more years. Two more years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was making like a political. Oh. Christ, we have another story. Yeah. We do have another story. Vegas vibe. All right. As we established, Justin and I are the same person, just running on different clock cycles. Yeah. Um, uh, Justin, uh, uh, how's your schedule? I'm doing a lot. <laughs> doing a lot. Uh, well, I mean, it's not like you're flying all over the Is country. Is that the point where I don't even remember when this month and a half long bender started? Because uh, there's a lot of like conferences. There's a lot of workations there's a lot of like being with other people and like being in these fun places so there's like not even a whole lot of just boring work it's all really really good stuff i'm i'm living my dream life it, it, it is nothing to complain about but it is a lot and one of the final things was going to vegas so we could cover the nevada primary no not the primary the nevada senate election which is ongoing right now the election day is is gun out there in the silver state but that meant that myself and jen briney who came along with me uh were staying in the excalibur on the strip okay uh real quick of all the places i thought you would stay uh excalibur never even occurred to me and it would not have occurred to me except for the fact that because Jen Briney is a digital nomad and has insane hotel loyalty she gets her stuff matched with all the Caesars properties and just loves the way that we love the Orleans. Right. She loves the Excalibur and gets upgraded uh, because she has like a. Oh, got it. Thing. Got it. Yeah. So, so, so if you have a bazillion D points and the points don't mean anything at the Orleans, which for the record, we love because it's sort of ragged yeah. and run down and so on uh, of all the Caesars properties, Excalibur. Yeah, you know, where horses defecate. Yes, <laughs> the people, be a good the thing. horses shit in the basement. Yes, that should be there. That's that should be like their a slogan. literal thing. Yeah, come to Excalibur, where the horses shit in the basement, <laughs> and you live in the penthouse? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> These rooms in... have not been renovated since 1961. <laughs> What's Kennedy like? was still alive the last time we replaced the mattress. <laughs> That's why it's themed after Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> uh so vegas things number one there is a disturbing amount of ladies dressed like showgirls that are aggressively trying to take pictures with you on the strip i i, I never remember this being so omnipresent but there are like two pairs of them they always room in they always go in pairs and there's two of them a fucking block i i don't know when it started but they are just out there, and, and they get more and more, hey, you want to take a picture? And they're, like, grabbing your arm. Like, it is, it is intense. Wait, where's the part where they get money? Like, like is it You take a up? picture, and then it's 10 bucks for the picture. Okay. So it's like, like you get the thing, a Vegas thing. So, two ladies so it's that like dress a, like, that uh, are dressed okay, like showgirls. Okay, the photo will be $10, or we'll accept for free your wife's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, it, it's it's... Fucking uh, uh, intense. Second thing. F1 is going to be doing a gigantic race at, uh, uh, in Vegas next year. Bryce, do you know when exactly it's going to be? Uh, I want to say it's near or Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Over a year from now. Yeah, it's next, it's next year around, around Thanksgiving weekend. And isn't it going to be like late? It's going to be at like nine o'clock. Yeah, they're like, like like Vegas local time. They're doing it in the evening because so many Europeans watch it that it'll be morning time over there. So it'll be like nine or ten o'clock oh. at night when it starts. Do, do you think they like full on Tron out the Las Vegas circuit? I think that they are going to go all out. I think that Vegas is very excited about the idea that F one is coming there, and I know that because while we were there, they shut down half the strip. 
so they could just run F1 cars up and down the Las Vegas Strip. So it basically went from like the the top of the strip, the northern end of it, so like the Strat, all the way down to uh, Paris. So it was you know, them just oh, going the strip, strip, like like the, the main road with the, the main, stoplights and yes, everything. Exactly. Okay. So they shut everything down and they just have these things going up and down, and that is what it is. But I'm there with Jim Briney. Here's something that you need to know about Jim Briney. If you don't listen to uh, either her podcast, Congressional Dish, or our podcast with Andrew Heaton, we're not wrong. Which is, this lady hates cars. She doesn't like them. She doesn't trust them. Anything that runs on gasoline that isn't optimized for everybody using it at the same time, like a public transportation, like a bus or something like that, she just doesn't cotton with, doesn't like it. I, I, has she, in any detail, revealed the source of her frustration? They use gas, and they're killing the planet. Yeah. Okay. Uh that would be the number one thing. I would probably leave it to her to explain. Uh, uh, oh, uh, they can hit you and kill you. I think that would probably be number two. Okay, that's pretty up there. Yeah. Uh, uh, and and then, I, I don't know, number three might be an aesthetic thing. But, uh, uh, but yeah, number one with a bullet is that it's putting a bullet into the earth, according to, to Jen Briney. Uh, number two is they're dangerous. Uh, okay. Uh, and, we, and we need to relinquish our addiction to fossil fuels. And... I, she she's a smart cookie, so I assume that she's read the data that expresses that you know uh, electric vehicles run on the same hydrocarbons, just at a factory. Well, it sounds like she doesn't like those either. Yeah, no, she uh, her husband is an electric uh, 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 a solar scale engineer, so like he's like making the gigantic solar panel arrays right. that could take more of a strain off of our our grid now. Whether or not we can go into the details and decibel points on exactly how much that is uh, uh, a thing, what battery tech we have, we can leave that for another show. All you need to know for this story oh, is that, that Jen that, Briney got, hates got fucking cars. Right, right. Uh, and, and, and so we, so we find ourselves the at the outdoor <laughs> bar Beer Park in Paris, which is one of my favorite uh, uh, outdoor places it's right across the street from the bellagio and when the f1 stuff was going on they just had the fountains going the whole time because this was a big spectacle they're they're really uh putting on the ritz uh and jen briney is reacting like she's getting stabbed in the abdomen every time one of these f1 cars revs up go by and they are going by like once every five minutes and they're doing donuts in the middle of the strip. They're, they're tearing up, they're tearing back. And every time she just makes this face of like, Oh, okay. Um, oh. <laughs> it, okay. Question. Yeah. Uh, would, would a monster truck rally be any better? Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to stay with no. Okay. <laughs> no, right. it would it would not be it would not be uh uh not be great. Uh and so it happened so many times that I had to just TMZ and take a picture of her mid-pained. Whoa, 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 whoa. So 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 at her deepest point of yes. showing her belly and her deepest frustrations, you decided to exploit it. Yes. Well, this is new. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce, can we show the picture? Uh, here we go. Here's the picture. <laughs> <laughs> she's she, not having it. She's got the stinkiest stink face on yeah. her face. Hey. No, yeah, not a, not not a, uh, uh, not 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 a, not a, not a good time. Although we had a good time. Uh, 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 here's the other problem with uh, myself and Jen Briney. Either of us are end the night people. Oh, I know a lot of I know a lot so, of end <laughs> the night people. If, good if, solid wise and the night people brian you you have become an an and the night person it's pretty great <laughs> and it's great right <laughs> yeah. oh looks to me like it's almost 8 37 <laughs> and uh, uh i i'm not that person right jen briney is not that person las vegas is a dangerous town yeah. for myself and her to be in because it never ends you were you never have to end the night for any reason and so we go to beer park uh, uh, we're we're getting you know drunk. I'm in uh, uh, hog heaven because all that's happening is college football. And then when college football stops, 
they just play nonstop political ads. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just having a great time. And she's trying to make friends with these ladies that came from Philadelphia. And I'm just like, oh, the Republicans are, are really, really buying on SEC games. Oh, look, look, look. The Democrats are buying on Vegas Golden Knight games. She couldn't give a shit. Uh, uh, and, and so uh, that's happening. Then we go play beer pong at the Flamingo. Uh, uh, and then we sh probably should end the night around there. We, we could have done stuff the next day. Nope. We decide to then go to the MGM Park. We decide to then go to the New York, New York. And it's around there that I stop remembering things and I wake up in my clothes. <laughs> Ooh. So so Ooh, that's every tough. evening you spend with Jen is basically brinksmanship to the point of blackout. Black Blackout brinksmanship. The yeah. Game. Yeah. Uh, 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 it's It's... Concerning. <laughs> Concerning. <laughs> Concerning considering the I've been doing this. The good news is that, Jen, she's far away. She's still back there in Vegas. You don't have to worry about that anymore. No, she's coming on. We're doing the show tonight. We're doing oh. we're doing the big election night stream. So go, everybody. Uh, and she'll be on PX3. A one night only here in Austin. Very excited. One night of Jen Briney. One night, Jen no, Briney. She actually, gonna she actually moved here. Motor she moved here for six months. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have to become an end the night person. I've made that decision. Yeah. Okay. What time? Why, what time do you, not, do you end Do you the not night? think I can? Um, Ooh. I won't like it because I like, I like, you yeah, like to end the th night. There's a reverse brinksmanship now. <laughs> where, where so it's, only, it's, gonna, it's only good for you to end the night if I'm not ending the night. You, I can't, the moment you end the night, I'm like second runner ending the night, man. So I just can't end the night before you end the night. Right. Okay. With, okay. We, we can make a deal. What, we have that for, I, form that, a that, cartel. That you can end. <laughs> I won't end the night before you end the so, night. So basically you sneak over to me. You're like, listen, brother, uh, I just going to tell you this much. Uh, I'm ending the night in four minutes <laughs> you have four minutes and i'm like ah, I'm ending no no we can we can we can we can bump that up i'll give you a 30 minute head start to end the night okay well now now it's another brinksmanship of me wait seeing, now you're negotiating me. against <laughs> that what no, the fuck no, now i'm just just gonna be watching you know, like it looks like he's about to end the night <laughs> i'm ending the night <laughs> <laughs> so you don't feel like this is a real uh a uh, 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 south of Texas standoff. Can we say that? <laughs> yes, you could say a Mexican. We can say a Mexican standoff. Yes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> For now, like, uh, 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 yeah. So now you don't trust that we can we can come to. A, you think I'm gonna backdoor you? No, 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 you think no, I'm no, gonna, no, no, no. Think no, I'm gonna no, lunar no. gooner oh, you on no, this no, no, on this no, deal no. here? Oh no, no, no. I trust you'll be a fair dealer in all respects. I also know that if I could choose between riding in the center of the lane or riding very close to the edge of the lane. I'm going to be very close to the edge of the lane. And one of these days, I'm going to be off on the side of the lane, and then you're going to be, I'm going to hear you say, good night, guy. I'm like, oh, that fucker ended the Motherfucker. night. Motherfucker. All right. Well, this is long-term storytelling. And then I'm going to switch over to Jen, Steve. I'll be like, that's right. I'm up all night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand here. <laughs> we are the same person out of phase. Yeah. But maybe yeah, that's yeah. the case. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, Bryce, Bryce, next topic. All right, next topic. Justin's next 24 hours. Oh, I'm glad we brought this up because... because well, I, I, uh, I, uh, you had a very exciting six weeks or so. I know somewhere in the middle, you know, we injected a trip to Philadelphia. You and I went on a trip to... Well, first of all, we went on a trip to Vegas, and we went on a trip to Phoenix, and we went on a trip to Philadelphia. Then we went on a trip to Washington, D.C. I don't even remember half of these. Uh, it's, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> uh, but finally... Your watch has ended. Yeah. It was all about the midterms. That's why I was out for at least two of those trips. I was out for the Savannah trip and for the Vegas trip. Uh, in between that, there's like shit we can't even talk about. There's mm. like a bunch of other stuff. Uh, uh, there was, oh, the, the secret British cult. That happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and now we have the midterms. Midterms are tonight. And I'm going to... Then, for everybody who's watching live in the UK, uh, you can tune in to GB TV, GB News uh, TV, tomorrow morning. I will be... Tomorrow on morning, their time? Your their time. time. Our time, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, dear. So I'm going to be up That's until today. 2 o'clock in the morning today. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to do a hit on their morning show talking about the midterms 
then I am going to get up <laughs> for a, 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 a flight at 7 o'clock in the morning and leave Austin so I can go to Florida and be there for a hurricane to hit. Wait, uh, is that what you're covering or just that would no, be fun? I'm just going to Florida for my mom's birthday weekend and a hurricane is going to hit after November 1st. A hurricane. Right now it's a tropical storm. It might not be a hurricane. But uh, uh, yeah, we were supposed to go to Epcot on Thursday because what I really need is an excuse to drink all day. Yeah, speaking uh, of which, let me, let me yeah, just. Uh, yeah, okay, all right. Uh, uh, and so that's probably going to be rained out unless stuff, uh, uh, unless it, unless it takes a turn up North, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's what it is. Um, I'm up all night tonight, live streaming for the midterms. Then I do a British television hit at two o'clock in the morning. Then I am. You also did a C-SPAN, uh, hour long program. Like the last two this months month, have been extraordinary yeah. for you. <laughs> it's been a lot of shit. <laughs> There's been a lot of shit. Um, and, and, uh, it's been good. The opportunities that have, that have come, but, but, uh, a lot, a lot. Yeah. No, uh, I'm looking forward to not doing anything for a minute. Although it's really going to be less than a month <laughs> because, uh, the next trip that I had planned was to go to Atlanta with my brother. Me and my brother made uh, a, a, a pact because my family, I love my family, but we have a very, very healthy relationship in terms of supporting each other. But we're not one of those everyone always gets together all the time families. We're not one of those everybody calls each other all the time families, which I think is why we get along so well. That we largely stay out of each other's way. But, and, and we do have real love, but it's just not a constant everybody's in each other's shit all the time kind of which thing. Which is why, like, like my dad's side of the family, like, they had been that way. And at some point, somebody was like, hey, why don't we be the type of family that has a family reunion every other year? Yes. Let's on purpose get together. Uh, Brett, do you guys do reunions? Uh, yeah, we do a uh, family uh, cook-off in uh, Lafayette. Every year, that's a uh, yearly uh, thing. Every year, then COVID hit, and then it's you know. So we're it's going to be it out again. Got to be restarted. I mean, yeah. so 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 my brother and I made a made made a, a deal because yeah. the thing that we text the most about is football, and I was like, all right, what do you say? Each year we pick a game on the Steeler schedule, and we just go, and that's like a brother's bonding weekend, and we go see a Steelers game, and then we fly out either Sunday night or Monday. We'll figure it out. And we're like, okay, great, fantastic. Set it all up, buy the tickets. December 4th in Atlanta, Georgia. Also, totally separate thing. If either Senator Raphael Warnock oh, or Challenger God. Herschel oh Walker either doing? get to 50% oh tonight. Oh, my God. That means that their runoff happens on December 6th. This is self-sabotage. This, like, this is just like, I, like, I, like... Come on, Bryce. What the fuck do you want me to do about it? I didn't set it up. We, we bought these tickets months and months ago. But mm. now you know. Now you know. You now have I the know. forecast. You can change it and you can not... But change what? The, the football game is going to be that day no matter what. Ah, so weird, homie. My birthday <laughs> gift has the word Homer on this bowling ball. <laughs> I mean, look, it's That's all fun and games. It's all fun and games until the first annual Brothers Weekend is me also telling him, So, do you, do you want to go to a Trump rally? <laughs> 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 you want to drive an hour and a half outside the perimeter so we can watch Donald Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene bloviate in an <laughs> airfield? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Anyway, my life is broken and <laughs> all of my relationships are suffering for it. Bryce, next topic! <laughs> Smashing pumpkins! Oh, Brett, on paper, this seemed like such a good idea. It seemed like a fantastic idea. It was such a small throwaway last week. Yeah. No one gave it second thought. It's a little set dressing. Yeah. And so for the audio listeners, you didn't even know it, but there were amazing pumpkins yes. on the set. All, all uh, created by my wife and her two friends uh, uh, of uh, Transformer characters. Mm -hmm. Robots 
in disguise as, as pumpkins. pumpkins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> disguise as pumpkins. Yeah. Uh, so the very last thing that that I'm going to be a god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shoot you like a pumpkin chunking contest. I'm Richard Nixon, Megatron. <laughs> Hopefully that's the only thing he's shooting. <laughs> Orange, you glad I changed into this form. So we did pumpkins. <laughs> there were pumpkins. <laughs> yep. Uh, These jokes so would have been better last week. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, uh, yeah, you know what? So were the pumpkins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because the very last thing, just, just like an offhanded thing, um, you ever have that moment when somebody says, oh, do this, it's like a thing. Yeah. And you're like, well, it must be a thing. Uh, first time I encountered that uh, was after I got married. Bonnie like intentionally spray painted stuff all over the 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 uh, garage cement floor, and I was like, "It seems like you've ruined our garage cement floor." And she goes, "It's a garage, Brian. It's supposed to do this." I'm like, "Okay." And then 20 years later, I figured out, no, nobody does <laughs> this. Nobody, does that. <laughs> nobody ruins their garage. She just had a fetish for this. Yeah. Her own toll. She wanted to own a house so that she could give two shits about the, the floor of the garage. Um, likewise, uh, Brett and EK were like, and we'll leave the pumpkins out, which will attract deer. Because the deer, there's deer. My question to you was, hey, don't you have deer that comes on the property? A lot of deer. And you said yes. And yeah. I said, well, you know, deer like pumpkin. We could just leave the pumpkins out and watch, the, you know, uh, the, using the camera. Oh, you could get, you could get ring camera That's footage. That's what I was figuring. Of, of, yeah. of, of a little, little Bambi-like figure kind of tentatively Because normally people don't want up. deer on their property. But I guess you don't have like a garden or anything like that that, no. it would, that they would normally. No, in fact, it's, 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 it's free uh, lawn maintenance yes. <laughs> for them to chew up all the grass, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and I believe we got video, Bryce, of, of what it looked like. Like when we, those pumpkins were finally approached. We do. Uh, uh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> so they had just fully oh, disintegrated. <laughs> now they're being approached by EK one week later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to see rotten ass mm -hmm. pumpkins yeah. on, our, on our stoop. They're really vile. Like, like these disgusting. pumpkins, when they go bad, they go bad they really, go bad really fast. Quickly. There are flies everywhere. Oh. Yeah. It's uh, really disgusting. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, so thank you? Question mark. Thanks, Brett. You're welcome. <laughs> so, my wife, when I left for Vegas, my wife was also leaving to go out of state uh, to go to Florida for a wake, and then she was just going to stay in Florida because we were going to meet there and go to uh, Epcot and be there for my mom's birthday weekend, and uh, that meant that we were both leaving. Like the day after Halloween. So all of the Halloween decorations stayed up. And one of the Halloween decorations that you guys saw when you came to my house for the Halloween party was a very cool carved pumpkin that my wife did that had stick arms and was eating a smaller pumpkin. There you go. Yeah. Right. Well, that was cute. What <laughs> horrifying <laughs> is when she left it outside. And it decayed. Yes. And now it was a melty face horror that was vomiting up a smaller yes. pumpkin that was also decaying. Please tell me you still have it. No. Oh, I no. picked it up and I threw it in the fucking trash because it was scary. I was scared, Brian. But it, I was spooked. Uh, what about what about the animated uh, dinosaurs going in front of the window? Those still there? No, those are those are gone. You had to set up like a projector and everything for that. I know. So, yeah, I'm just saying. And, and and the big uh, the big inflatable dinosaurs we also we also took out. Nah, that was a wrap. Yeah, that was a wrap. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, maybe you have a, a a more stringent HOA than we have. <laughs> all I'm saying <laughs> is we made it all the way to like March before well, we got letters. You guys, yeah, you had a you specific guys... charge. Yeah. <laughs> in doing <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Brian, if people want more of this show, how can they get it? Uh, uh, write us a letter. Mm. P.O. Box Hooray at 10028, and you'll be a member of the fan club. Or, and, or go to patreon.com slash great night. Hmm. Yes, patreon.com slash great night often referred to as the sending a self-addressed stamped envelope to a P.O. box of its own generation. Uh, 
can, can we actually, we did this on the Patreon bonus episode. Uh, like, I'm, I'm so here for physical mail being sent in by the fans. I, I really want oh, yeah. to, to make that happen. Um, uh, what and should I, they do? Well, okay, fine. Look, we don't have a fence. <laughs> we have a lot of guns, so don't show up here. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> uh, but send your fan anythings <laughs> to uh, 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 7708 Thomas Springs Road. Austin, Texas, 78736. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure to put a uh, 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 great night, <laughs> great night fan, like indicate. Jeff does not love. Uh, Je- Jeff's not a fan. Jeff, that's, yeah. uh, that's, please don't show up. We Please just don't show up randomly. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, right, I, uh, did I miss anything? Like, don't, don't show up. We have guns. Yeah. Send us fan Send mail. Send us fan mail. <laughs> yeah. And only fan mail. Yep. We're trusting you. Yeah. Yep. Be this cool is a guy. trust. The trust fall. Can we a trust fall? Can we all be cool? Yeah, we're all gonna we're be cool. cool. We'll be cool. Yeah, we're also, cool. we're gonna be six Fonzies here. Jeff, hey. Jeff is is gonna be the guardian. Well, he has uh, a dog. Oh, yeah. We also have dogs. And there's a dog. We have attack dogs. We have a chicken. The dog. <laughs> the dog has guns. We have Gary. The dog we have has Gary, guns. Gary the rooster. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you, man. We're ready. <laughs> hey, Gary is a rooster. Stay back. In the meantime, hit us up at patreon.com slash great night. Keep us loud, live, and independent. You get bonus episodes and they're quite good. Yeah. They're great. They're they're some would say great. Some. Not all, but some. Okay. The people who who don't say they're great say they're the greatest. <laughs> oh, damn it, you got me. Fuck. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. Uh Bryce, Shit. do we have a game? Fuck. Uh, we do have a game. Hello, everybody. Uh we've got a a, a new game. For you today so uh science sciences sciences uh scientists have uh, used a 2018 research paper as a blueprint to compile the top 100 names for both boys and girls in the u.s and the uk i've got uh, a bunch of names here you're gonna tell me which is the more popular uh baby name this is a game we like to Oh, baby, 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 oh, baby. (laughs) I was really, like, dialed in for the name. (laughs) So that reminds me of, uh, 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 what is the song? Uh, uh, just told me you love me, baby. Oh. Said you were coming back this way again, baby. Yeah, the Carpenters. Is that it? I love you, baby. Uh, Yeah. Maybe I love you. But that's, that's the, 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 the. What of like I I love great songs that have cop out verses because yes. that's one of the greatest ones of all time. There's like these two great lines, and then like instead of writing a third great line, they're just like, baby, 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 <laughs> oh I, baby. I don't know, man. I'd put Zigga Zigga up against that. That's in a, a great in a one. Battle. Yeah, yeah. That's a very. They only did Zigga Zigga once. Yeah. 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 Wait, uh, did uh, uh, did was baby a runner? Well, it's a very common yeah. trope. Yeah. yeah, baby blue, ooh, la la la, and, and, and Led Zeppelin had three songs that had the line "Squeeze the lemon till the juice runs down my leg." Really? Yep. What were the three songs? The lemon song, mm-hmm. and a couple other ones. Oh, and the yeah. other fun. <laughs> yeah. The, the other one song. you can't set and that the up. Final one. Uh, no, you and give us specific names. Uh, 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 yeah, give us yep. names. Uh, We're hey. shaking you down. You're in the hot box now, Mister. Oh Lord! Hold on, wait, 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 hold on, Brian. Yeah, you be good cop. Okay, I'll be bad cop. We're gonna All get right. these names out of him. Okay? All right, listen All right. up, Mister Zeppelin. Hey, uh, fuck you! All right, hey, fuck you! You're All a right. piece hold of on. shit. You're hey. gonna give us these Phil. names, or I'm gonna slit your fucking throat. Bill wow. Spector, I swear to God. Just yeah, get, just give me a moment. I'm Phil. leaving. I got okay. anger okay. issues. All right. I got You're anger tough. issues. That's a normal Tuesday. I'm leaving. That's a slam. That's a that's a real afro, wow. and he really is going to end up going to jail for murder later in life. But he seems right like now, he's too old for okay, that. Okay, don't worry about it. He's about to ruin a Beatles album. But okay. meanwhile, oh. let's you and me talk. All right, I need two. You got one title. I just need two more titles. Yeah. Uh, what what are you doing? Looks I'm like just, I'm just looking. No, 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 no. no. It's no. in your heart. Is the answer. You better your, look oh, in your God, heart, God. you uh, piece uh, of okay, shit. Okay, I oh, swear to God. Go chain on. How about you Google an early grave? You fucker. I'm gonna get your coffee. Phil, I'm gonna go, Phil. I'm gonna you be, go. You be nice. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Oh no, you're gonna get a coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna get a coffee for oh, him. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, get him a coffee. Okay. Get okay. him a coffee. Wait, okay. you're gonna get, but you're gonna be well behaved. I'm gonna be real well behaved. I'm gonna be real well behaved. All right. All right. Okay. All right. 
Hey, 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 buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. I want you to turn your head upside down because I'm going to shit down your nose. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Unless wow. you give me these names right now. Hey, I'm real gonna... quick. Uh, is that uh, hazelnut hey. or do you like, do yeah. you like sugar in that? He's treating you right, right? I, oh, I just... we're having a great Nothing time that'll... together. Turn my head upside down. Hey. Right. And, By the way, and, I, 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 and I, I, yell to the heavens because you're going to get some coffee. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll be right back. Yeah. You're being good, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're getting along famously. You know, you, you're being I'm gonna really good. I'm going to stick my shit. Shoe oh. up your ear. I'm going to put oh. my full shoe in your head, and it's going to squish your fucking brain and squeeze these names out if it's the last thing that I do. Hey! Hey, Phil. I've been taking notes, and I think we got two titles. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What Get ready they? for our hottest new hit. I'm going to turn your head upside down and <laughs> shit down your neck. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to put a shoe inside your head. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Zeppelin. You've been great. Another Yay! hit on the book. Okay, I stole all those songs. I Are they come. Immigrant Song and Cashmere? Oh, I know. <laughs> anyway, Bryce, what's the game? Oh, God, we're playing a no, game. Uh, we're judging babies. <laughs> so we're, ju we're, judging, okay. we're judging the babies. That's right. So scientists took the, uh, these various names for, for boys and girls uh, and broke them down phonetically and then use those phonemes, phonemes, uh, the syllables to uh, science up how beautiful these names are. Yeah. So, I, and and uh, do we have a sense of these are American U.S. names over a, a specific time period, or? Uh, I'm gonna give you the U.S. names. There's U.S. and U.K., but I'm gonna only give you from the U.S. list. Okay. Uh, the original blueprint, or the original research that they based this off of, was from 2018. So I'm gonna guess this is probably the last decade or so got it all right so i'm gonna be either or and you're just gonna tell me which one's more popular we got enough here that i think everyone can do one we're gonna start with brian on this one today ready all right i want you to tell me which was a more popular or more beautiful baby name and it's it's not it's not popularity by the way it's no it's beauty. beautiful oh uh, as judged that, that, by that's, science that's, as judged by this ac actually by science got it yeah. okay yeah. all right all right <laughs> brian we are looking at uh. <laughs> Man, that's so it's so weird because you said we're yeah. looking at it and I was thinking Julie Shineland. <laughs> that's a beautiful name. Uh, we, your names are either Come uh, in here now, baby. Don't <laughs> give me don't give me that. Don't give me that goo goo gaga. I don't want that. I, I was a family judge for over 50 years. Don't give me that goo goo gaga. <laughs> Brian, the names are Aria and Nora. Aria mm. and Nora, which is the more beautiful mm. name? Aria mm. is definitely more sonorous. Uh, Efren never killed the Night King. Uh, correct. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it, whereas Nora literally has the word no in it. So uh, that and the sun god of Egypt. So I'm going to say, hooray, Aria. Your name is a beautiful song. Fuck you, Nora. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, wow. I was going to play on the fuck you thing and yeah. take it into a graphic place, and then I remembered the game was about babies. Uh, well, <laughs> now, it, you know what? It was on the cusp of being weird. Yeah. Definitely weird. Now it's weird. Now okay. it's weird. All right. Wasn't before. What about unborn now babies? <laughs> it is election day. Election day, everybody. Yeah. What, about, what about back when they're the twinkle in eyes <laughs> before they're even conceived, when they're just two people at a rave with what started <laughs> as a hand job and eventually like, became full intercourse <laughs> long before it became a shotgun wedding? Yeah. Yeah. Those two uh, people at a rave. Nora. Whoever those two people might have been. <laughs> yep. All right, Brian, your answer of Aria is. Oh, it is That's a more uh, expensive hotel. That's right. Aria. They, they, they ain't even got a Nora hotel in Vegas. Wait, that's, that's, I think you just broke the code. Is imagine it's a hotel on the strip. Which one would you rather be at? Would you rather be at the Aria or the Nora? Hmm. Uh, Aria was ranked 44th and Nora was ranked 47th. Who do you think's headlining at the Nora? Uh, 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 that chick who wrote this song. Singing sad on pianos long. Whatever her name was, I think it was Nora. Some Nora Jones. Is it? 
I don't that know. There, I mean, if you're looking for a Nora, there's a singer named Nora. Jones. There's a singer yeah. named Nora Jones. Great. Let's go with that one. Yeah, yeah. A little on the nose. Uh, okay. The you, think, you think they're only going to book Noras? You know what? You're right. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Norin Rad. Uh, Harold to Galactus. Oh, <laughs> Silver Serpent, the Cosmic. Oh, I thought, I thought you meant Norad. Like, no. like the, the uh, you know what? That works too. Norad uh, also Joshua, shows up. Joshua, incredible AI, launching nukes all across the sky. Yay. <laughs> all right, Price, next. All right, Justin, this one's going to you. Let's do it. Two names are Santiago or Isaiah. Mm. Oh my God, I just remembered. In the middle of all this, I went to DEF CON. <laughs> oh, you did? I've been on the fucking you, road You also so threw goddamn two long. rager parties, one of which included Jafar doing a deal with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> You've been busy, my friend. <laughs> I've been very impressed. <laughs> I can't believe that. Do, you need, do, do we need to end the episode early, time. Justin? Do you need to go take a sleep? No, no sleep. No sleep till till I till talk to England. <laughs> till England. And even then, no I gotta get to the airport. Till. Ba -da. Ba -da. Ba -da. Chesterfield. Center right television in England. <laughs> Slightly silly party. Uh, Justin, Santiago or Isaiah? Santiago oh, or Isaiah? Oh, Santiago or Isaiah. And this is the most beautiful baby names by science. That's right. Well, I guess the question is. The biblical thing, right? In Isaiah, biblical. Yeah, Isaiah is a biblical one. Yeah, it's a whole book of the Bible. But wait, isn't Santiago? Is that like a saint thing? Yeah, yeah. It's Saint Tiago. Saint Iago. <laughs> saint. Uh, saint Iago. It's also. Uh, uh, it's also the capital of Chile. It is. Yep. Uh, Asuncion, Parador. No other. Montevideo. You know, you know all of Uruguay. You do. Uh, Santiago so, or Isaiah? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, uh, Isaiah. You're gonna say Isaiah. Why do you yeah. think Isaiah? I think it's Isaiah Bryce because I'm. I, I think that it's it's more, it's shorter. <laughs> <laughs> is, right? Is it Isaiah? Santiago. Santiago. Yeah. It's yeah. One syllable shorter. One syllable okay. shorter. Okay. Six letters, uh, I think okay. I think uh, uh, the Lord is our shepherd, okay. and if we follow the teachings of the Bible, then uh, we will live a more fruitful existence. So, so, so you're voting against the saint for Isaiah. Okay, natural rivals. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah versus the saint. Okay, yeah, I I love that movie. I, Isaiah, Isaiah versus Isaiah, the Isaiah saint? Isaiah versus the saint sounds like a Noah Bumbeck movie, mm -hmm. and it stars. Uh, Luke you Wilson. Got you got this. Yes. And it wow. also and, and, stars and, 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 Laura Prepon there in a go. comeback role. Yes. Sure. And yes. it has Kieran Culkin, but he's aged down to a baby. And as we All remember, the, way yeah. the trailer began with that music uh, before the narration came in. In a world where <laughs> Isaiah's done with all this saint talk. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm a baby, I guess. <laughs> That's Kieran Culkin. Do 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 do. Oh, in oh, my oh. life, I, I, I find a thief. You don't get, you don't get to join. Me. I took. I clearly defined my role as the background music. You don't get to join the oh, backup I'm singers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck this. Fuck this. Let's go back. No, 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 no. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. All right. No, I'll do. I'll do all the lyrics. I'll do all the. Sorry. The quotes. The quotes. The quotes. The quotes. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead. You start. Do 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 do. I. I'm sick of this job. Bum, 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 bum. You don't get to decide for me or anyone. Oops, I tripped. <laughs> That's Laura Prepon. Uh, no, I'm not here. You're here. I'm going to get to where I need to go. And if I don't, then you're to blame. I'm still a baby. You're going into flight school. <laughs> <laughs> Long time. I'm sick of this saint guy. <laughs> Coming next November. Isaiah versus the saint. Yeah. 
available on VOD. <laughs> <laughs> Direct to VOD. Direct to YouTube. <laughs> All right, Justin, you said Isaiah. Well. Oh, yeah, we're playing a game. That's, <laughs> that's right. Uh, Santiago was ranked 16th. Oh, in damn. U.S. names. Isaiah was fourth. Yay! It's Isaiah. Yay! That's a point for Justin. You got a clear, uh, clear, uh, steer clear of them consonants? Yeah. Steer clear. Steer clear. Mm -hmm. Keep clear. Keep clear. Uh, keep clear and Consonant. carry on. Con of con these consonants. <laughs> yes. Keep an out of here. Get out of here, consonants. <laughs> I, I don't think there's much to mine here. So, shoo, Bryce. Shoo, <laughs> consonants. <laughs> you get yeah, out of yeah, here. Uh, sh uh, mm, uh, all right. I'm enjoying this. Uh, this <laughs> uh, all right, Brett. Uh, 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 <laughs> Brett, do you want to play? No. no? Okay. Uh, Brian, I got your next one here. Okay, ready. Can you please tell me which one was more popular, Evelyn or Eva? Ooh. Evelyn and Eva. Evelyn <laughs> or Eva. And the life's an Eskimo pie. Let's <laughs> take a bite. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Uh, uh, it's got to be Eva. Uh, it's balanced. Uh, mm -hmm. e Evelyn. Evelyn sounds like you're in the middle of doing something you shouldn't. I'm in Lord of the Rings now. <laughs> Oh, Evelyn's here, coming from the mists of the elves. Oh, Ev Evelyn. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, the scrolls say that there's a mountain. <laughs> I'm writing the new season of Rings of Power. <laughs> right, right. Sorry, is it, are you pro Evelyn or pro Eva? I'm from the misty gales of <laughs> enchanted woodlands where Evelyn's roam like wine. How long do you think a cop would tolerate oh. these kind of answers? I swear, officer, I, I haven't had but, but a pittance to drink before I left the the pub. Uh, okay, all right, that's fine. You're on foot, so the yes. worst. I'm just gonna. I walk all the places. I have a walking staff <laughs> that right. shows that. I'm interesting. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to write you a citation oh, for public intoxication. A scroll. I love scrolls. <laughs> I'm going to need you to go down to the county clerk. Oh, yes. A, a local magistrate. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll go consort with the barrister and go to the wooden magistrate's office. <laughs> this is a new episode of Rings of Power. You know, you sound shockingly like <laughs> is the delicious Chinese food guy. <laughs> a meal? A succulent, succulent Chinese, Chinese meal? meal. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think you're right. Eva sounds right. Eva's better. All right, so Justin, you're going to say Eva. Yeah. Eva ranked 12th on this list. Damn. E Evelyn came in at... Number 11. Oh. That is incorrect. Oh. Evelyn was the right answer. Turns out Rings of Power was powerful. Rings of Powerful. Uh, but, like, evil's in the name. E e Evel. Well, yeah. Is that, like, the old-timey spelling it's or the, pronunciation? It's, uh, uh, it's the half-asleep. The pronoun. devil is Evel. <laughs> that, makes, that makes more sense, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce? <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anyone who says that? The, the devil is Evel? Devil yeah. is Evel? Uh, yes. Uh, Evel Knebel. <laughs> we need to make merch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the devil is Evel. Yeah. Right. It should be devil. <laughs> I know. It should be. Uh, but it ain't. It ain't. Fix it, Brandon. Come on, Brandon. Uh, okay. I think that was uh, I think that was actually Brian's round. Well, it was, yes. Okay. Uh, well, then, Justin, we're going to go to you on this one. Okay, cool. Your two names are... I'm taking it seriously. Yeah, finally. Yeah. William... Or Elijah. Again with the biblical names. Okay. Right. Wait, is there is there a Billy in the Bible? Jesus nope. ever walking nope. around nope. saying, uh, hey, where's Billy? That's my favorite passage in the Bible. <laughs> Jesus is just like, hey, Wait. where's Billy at? <laughs> hey, where's... And hey, low. Where's, where's Billy? <laughs> this goes for a full page. <laughs> <laughs> low, the apostles did come upon Jesus, who was asking, hey... Hey, where's Billy? Where, where'd Billy go? <laughs> I was just talking to Billy. Where's Billy? Hello, and, Billy. and Peter uh, of Gallifrey did. <laughs> Gallifrey. <laughs> yes, Peter Capaldi. 
<laughs> I did ask. Uh, I am Billy. <laughs> no, the other Billy. <laughs> BRB, he said. I, I remember that one verse where Jesus says, Peter, you will deny me three times. But Billy, you're cool. You're Billy, cool. You're totally cool, Billy. You're cool, as like a, you. you're cool as my grandma's freezer. That's right. Uh, that was really cold. Hey, remember when Jesus invented a table? <laughs> God, that was the best part. <laughs> That movie might be the greatest movie of all time. Passion of the Christ. Do you know what we're talking about? So uh, Passion of the Christ, they included a scene where Jesus, uh, a carpenter, mm -hmm. has to, you know, do something. And so he says, hey, mom, you know, the mother of God. <laughs> come, come check this shit out. <laughs> she walks over. She's like, what is this? He's like, you know, for like breakfast, we can just sit in front of it. She's like, what? <laughs> He's like, I'm Called it a table. Really? Yes. yes. No, it's a real scene. Scorsese decided. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. That's 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 Last Temptation of Christ. Yes. Oh, okay. This, no, this is, is Mel Gibson. Gibson. Mel Gibson. Which Gibson. Maybe, yeah. maybe makes it a little more uh, sensible. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Jim Caviezel is just fucking around. And then, all, yeah, Mary comes <laughs> over. And, they, like, and he's like, table. And, like, and she's befuddled. She has no idea. <laughs> she's like, what is no this? No idea what's happening. And then he like he like gives her like the, like the two palms down like, sit. <laughs> huh? And she's uh? like, oh. Oh, you might have a future. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get crucified in the third act. And the second act, it's a lot of crucifixion. So Billy, William. No, yeah, out of here. I want the biblical one, whatever one, that one. You was. want Elijah. Elijah. Yeah. Over William. All Eli. Right. Yeah. Eli. He's going up. Eli. <sighs> Elijah ranked 13th on this list. Mm -hmm. William was... Number three. Oh, that's incorrect. That's no point. Number three. Billy with the bullet. Billy with the bullet. Yeah. We had to leave the Bible for that one. Mm -hmm. Get that's, out of it. That's the sequel you where they gave get your, your, all get your head Billy. They were jealous. Billy, they wrote Billy with the Bible. Billy with the Billy Bible. Billy with the Bible. Billy with the booty Bible, baby. Billy with the booty Bible. <laughs> 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 From producer, uh, I'm, trying, uh, I'm trying to access the name of the guy who created Penthouse Magazine. Uh, Bob Guccione. Omni. Yes, Bob <laughs> Guccione Jr. presents. <laughs> Billy with the world of Bible, baby. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Show me them bush. <laughs> Billy Bush? It's a different no. thing. No. Nope. Right. Yeah. Uh, he ever wow. got his career back? No. No. Oh. <laughs> Which is too bad because he was not the bad guy in that scenario. <laughs> he was just kind of horsing around. He was just like on ah. a bus. He was he was managing talent because I guess you couldn't even really see what his face was. He could be horrified. Yes, like and imagine imagine if Billy Bush, while Donald Trump is talking about grabbing him in the pussy, he's just like the scream painting. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> he like... just has both hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and even if he wasn't, I mean, it's like it's your job to handle talent because you're about to go on camera. You, that's not the right time to say, OK, now's a good time for us to talk about respecting hey, other Mr. people's autonomy. Yeah. 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 OK. OK. So baby names. There we go. All right, Brian, well, this one's not yeah. going to you. Yeah. We're, we're, we're taking this to the HBO. Come for the comedy. Stay for the Billy Bush <laughs> apologism. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking it to the HBO. What is the HBO? Well, you're going to have to pick between either Logan or Roman. Ooh, <laughs> succession. Which is uh, more pop which is more beautiful of a name, Logan or Roman? I mean, only one of them uh sounds like you'd say it to the other, uh say the phrase uh, fuck off. Uh so I I'm, I'm going to go Logan. Logan's so much cooler than Roman. Roman sounds like you're rolling over. I want to throw this out on the main show because we said it on the on the Patreon bonus, but I really just want an AI generated Logan Roy metaphor machine. Because when they have like the trailer for the new succession, the way I knew that it was going to be awesome is just he's like, I'm a thousand feet tall and they're tiny little Lilliputians. And I'm like, oh, good. Like they're still throwing at 99 on the gun if they just have weird <laughs> Logan Roy I, metaphors. Uh, but we just need more of those. We just need an endless AI generated Logan Roy metaphor. Uh, as a matter of fact, everybody in the chat, go ahead and make your submission. But in the meantime, Justin, give me another, give me another Logan Roy metaphor. Boop. Yeah. I'm a planet, and you're a tiny speck of smegma. <laughs> smegma. Smegma. Piece of uh, okay. Uh, uh, boop. <laughs> 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 
I'm the world's wealth, and you're just a little toenail. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a bit on the nose. Uh, boop. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm killing him. You're killing him. <laughs> I'm Led Zeppelin and you're a tiny toy harmonica. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He's dying. He's fading. I'm, <laughs> I'm fading away. <laughs> <laughs> Flojo, and you're an unborn fetus. Oh no, there you go. And we're racing <laughs> to the death. <laughs> All right, I think we're about boop. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have the world's mass, and you're a negative particle floating out of my asshole. <laughs> All right. We gotta get you to do their ADR. <laughs> Poseidon's dick! And you're just a little piece of algae underneath my balls! <laughs> okay. All right, Bryce, um, uh, would you like to press the button? <laughs> You know, I, I might boop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the planet Venus, and you're nothing but a tiny little baby's eye that's fallen out of the baby, and it's just rolling around the floor. And when it looks finally up, it sees Venus and says, shit, that's a big fucking planet. Fuck off. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, Brian, you said. Yeah, I said boop. <laughs> <laughs> Steam is coming I'm out of his. A hurricane made of metal, <laughs> and you're just a small piece of insulation in a house that was never really built. <laughs> Fuck off! It was not even built. No. It wasn't built at all. <sighs> they took a down payment <laughs> and then never built it. The contractor was a fucking crook. <laughs> Just like you, fuck off. Bryce. Metal Hurricane. <laughs> now I'm playing defense, so I don't have to do another one. All right. <laughs> Brian, your answer of Logan is... Logan Metal ranked. Hurricane. Oh yeah! By the way, I have to be on air for seventeen hours. Yeah. Tonight. <laughs> That's right, save your voice. Yeah. <laughs> like you're gonna forget, and you're gonna be on screen uh, in England, and like off camera, I'm just gonna, I mean, I'm just gonna, like from the, your speakerphone, I'm just gonna be like, boop. <laughs> 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 and all of a sudden, you're going to be the bonkers U.S. guy <laughs> talking about what a tiny speck of an island England is, and you've got the biggest balls in North America. <sighs> all right. Uh, Justin, we'll go to you on this one. I'd like you to tell me which is a more beautiful baby name. And we're crossing, we're crossing the lists here. Owen or Olivia? Mm. Owen or Olivia? Owen or Olivia? Which is and and to be specific, we're just talking about the ranking. I don't know the actual beauty number of these, but yeah, yeah, you don't you don't know the computational score, right? But just which is ranked higher out of the 50 uh, on on the, the the male list and the female list, right? Yes, That's right. Owen um, or Olivia? I, I'm you know Owen, short, sweet, to the point. Got a W in it. That's interesting. <laughs> Olivia, longer, got m more vowels, kind of, kind of nasty. You think nasty with Olivia? Mm. I mean, she's living. What's Owen doing? Owen money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say Olivia. You're gonna say Olivia. I'm gonna say Olivia. Mostly because I've realized that I just spent the last ten minutes screaming. Because <laughs> you're out of you're out of the vocal cords. <laughs> All right. Well, Owen was ranked number seventeen on the male list, and <sighs> Olivia was ranked nineteen. That is oh, incorrect, damn. Justin. Damn. All right. After three Damn. rounds, you want me 
to do the score? Yeah, what's our score, Brett? I, if I'm uh, doing it correctly, Brian has two points. Mm. I think he's only got one point. No, no, I'm pretty sure he got two right two points. He got one at the right. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, sorry. I, I'm I'm used to us starting with Justin. We've been starting with Justin lately, so I got him uh, backwards. Yes, but you're right. Brian's got Justin two points. Justin has one point. And Justin has one point. There we go. Sorry about that. Good. Guys, I but he see. has been the winner for uh, coming up with all those excellent i mean i i'd like to think we're the winners and he's yeah. the one that's gonna have a ragged out voice when he tries <laughs> to explain american politics to the brits he will cross that line with honor though <laughs> well, the, the thing about nevada is <laughs> it's really just one county hi sweetheart i love thank you for having me on your show it's a great show all right this is our final round here and this one's gonna be worth three points so it's still anybody's game uh, gentlemen, if you can get your phones for me, you're going to text me your answers. All right. Uh, much appreciated. We're going to give you uh, one whoops. last one. Hold on. I accidentally opened the Logan Roy app. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> no. My balls are like <laughs> Noah's Ark, and I'm unloading them two by two on you. <laughs> All right. We're going to give, uh, we're going to, we're crossing the lists here again. You have two balls. <laughs> All right. Gentlemen, get ready to text me. You're going to text me your answer of either Julian or Sophia. Julian or Sophia. Those are the final names for three points. Brett, how do you? who do you think is going to get it right? They can't all be ballads, Julian. <laughs> I think I am confident in Justin. You're confident in Justin uh, to get the name right. I'm not confident in anything else but getting this name right. Well, you should also be confident in me. Being very dizzy from yelling for the past <laughs> 15 minutes straight. I, I So I don't know if, if uh, I'm necessarily at my best. I, you know what? I might say you've gone beyond your best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're in new territory. All right. I've got <clears throat> your answers here. Yes. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they didn't yeah, get lost. Yeah, I, I, with the chat room, you got to pace yourself. You've got oh 17 God. more hours of this. More hours. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we won't be hanging out in between trying to make each other laugh. <laughs> you certainly won't do this bit while we're at lunch. <laughs> 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 My. No, 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 no you no, can't no, do it. You're killing him. Bit. He's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> now, gentlemen, I'd like to tell you that the name Julian was the number two name on the male list. And Sophia was number one. Hey! Wait, both, hey! both Brian and Justin said Sophia, and that's going to be a Brian win today. Oh, oh, fuck you. I'm like a really good guy, and you're like a lesser person. Yeah, lesser than you. <laughs> I'm lesser now. Hold, hold you bested Wait, me. Give, give, give me, I give me, frail. give me beta cut frail. Logan Roy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta uh, hit. You gotta say boop. Poop. <laughs> hold on. See, boop. Normally it's boop. It's poop. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, uh, poop. You're a gigantic <laughs> tree trunk. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just a fractured, impotent acre. <laughs> Acorn. Acorn. Oh, no. <laughs> Acre's better. <laughs> I'm a fractured, impotent acorn. <laughs> Cuck. Logan Roy. I have a slimy uh, voice. Uh, uh, trails. <laughs> That's the... The mark of the cuck. <laughs> the mark the trailing of the cuck. voice. The mark of the cuck. Yes. Wait, how did the, know, uh, from whence now. did come the mark of the cuck? Yeah, old world. <laughs> In the yes. old world. And yeah. then it was referred to as the cuck. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew the cuck by the trailing <laughs> voice. What? <laughs> what? What did we learn today? <laughs> <laughs> well, from that, we've learned that we need to pray for Justin to get through this thing. <laughs>
you got this. You got this. Uh, Just have two more parties. Oh my yep. Maybe God. one at 3 p.m. Yeah. We've learned that the deer at Seven Acre Schwood are picky fucking eaters. Yeah. Pumpkin snob. Fuck deer. And uh, that the uh, Roy, uh, Logan Roy encouragement app needs to happen. Oh, my God. Yes. Me. Like, uh, uh, we could do a Kickstarter of j- just all it pays for is a full day session of nothing but just recording these and just a dumb app that plays one of the 500 at random. Yeah, of, of yeah, Logan Roy metaphors. Oh, uh, man. Uh, uh, well, I'd say it's a great night, but it has yet to begin. Yes. Uh, uh, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Yeah, still, still a great morning. Ah, in the morning. In the morning. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be. You're gonna be a disaster. I'm already you're, a disaster. You're <laughs> fucked. You are fucked. I'm my fucked. Friend. Yeah. 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 Tune in. Uh, 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 Tune in the television in yeah. all of England. <laughs> well, also us on uh, my channel, uh, PX3. PX3 Live. PX3 Live. Uh, Brian's there. Brett's there. Heaton's there. Jen's there. We're all gonna be watching the midterms if you're watching this live. If not, check it out on PX3 on podcast. Bye. I'm glad you voted before the show. What? I'm glad you voted before the I show. I did vote before the show. I'm going to go vote now. You should. Go vote for vote. Logan Roy. Go vote. Boom! Woo! 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 Woo!